Hi everyone, Michelle with Crafty Servings. I am painting a, well, sunflower, but different color tonight. So I've had a lot of requests for how I paint the flowers and my welcome signs. So I'm doing a scaled down version of it tonight. So I'm excited to paint this for you tonight. I'm a little nervous because it's a small version. I'm used to doing the big flowers on the welcome sign. So it's a small version, but um, I think it'll turn out cute and I'm using different colors. So I'll show you how I prep the wood first. I um, I have some other, I have some gel stain, but I also love the Waverly Wax. I've used it before. I did the siding undo just so that it's completely dry, but I'll show you what I do on the other side. I'm gonna show you from scratch. The only thing I'm not gonna do is the lettering tonight. I'll just show you on this side, um, it's going to soak in right away, so it really doesn't matter that, um, that I'm doing it and I'm going to flip it over because it's going to soak in. So I'm using that Waverly Wax. You get this, it's um, by the chalk paint in the, um, usually in Walmart, next to the chalk paint in the craft department, okay? And it's the wax, it's antique. Um, it, it just, you put it on top of paint, but I use it as stain without paint. Um, this is a baby wipe, just a wet baby wipe and it spreads it on so nice. So I'm just using what's in the cover because you don't need a lot. And you can really, it just spreads it on really nice. Can you see that? Okay, I'm trying to make sure I have enough room. That's why I'm doing a small sign. I gotta make sure I have enough room. And because this is a wet baby wipe, you can just keep rubbing and the more you rub, it'll get darker if you go in one spot. But I'm just going around. There's a hanger on here. I probably should take it off because it's gonna hang sideways. Oh, maybe I'll do a sideways welcome, huh? I haven't done that. So, and look how quick and easy it goes on. It just spread it on. And I already did the other side, so you don't have to watch me do that side too. So, and I already did the, the sides of the board. It's such a pretty color. Flip it over. It's fine because it's already probably almost dry get my little bag out here and I'm done with the antiquing wax thank you Sylvia for passing it on yeah Amanda I love love using that wax all right so now I'm starting this side and I'll show you now how I draw the flowers um, I know there was a deal the other day and I talked about it um, and it honestly I start with a petal, and I'll show you how I do that too. And I start with a cover. Um, I use larger covers. I, it depends upon what you're working on. This is this is my template. And you know, everybody thinks I have a template. I, it, that's my template. Um, this was, this is how I do my leaves. So I already did one, so I have it, but I'll just show you. I just start, and I cut what I think would look like a leaf. and I open it up, okay? So that would be my, or my petal. I should say my petal. Thank you, Janet, for passing it on. So that would be my petal. But now what I do to make sure I have the right size, I wanna make sure I have a whole petal, so then I might have to trim it down. So I hold it on here, and it's too big, so I just go on. I like the shape of it, so I'm just gonna follow the shape, cut it down, and see if that'll fit on. It's actually, I want this on a little bit farther, so I'm gonna cut down a little farther. So that's, uh, and actually I have one already done, but that's what I do. And then when I have mine done, so that I'm gonna do multiple ones, I put it on cardboard and I cut it out. This is my pattern. So this is my template for my flowers. So it's, it's not hard to do. You can do that. You can figure that out. So, um, I'm gonna put, again, this is sort of how I do the welcome sign. I'm gonna do, um, I would do one in the middle somewhere and I'll do one on a corner. So I wanna make sure that this whole petal is gonna fit on here. So I hold my cover and I hold my petal and that's where I want my cover. Now I like using this chalk. Um, it's, well, it's, it's like a chalk, a water soluble 
pencil. This is used a lot in on fabric when I do sewing, okay? And it's a pink, so you don't see it, but it covers up so easily. So all I do, uh, but can you see that line? That's how I make my lines. And then I just put the petal on and I trace, and I do it on cardboard because then I don't have to worry about it moving around so much on paper. It's hard to do it on paper. And then I just line it up. Can you see, I don't know, can you see the petals? You probably can't. Can you see that? So now I'm gonna line it up so that it touches on the side. And then this bottom is right to that circle. I gotta see it myself too, I got a little shadow here, so. Honestly, when you do this little, I'm hoping it'll be quick and easy and painless. Okay, then I'm gonna do another one on this side. Again, you wanna touch this bigger point of the petal and touch the bottom. Just trace it around. Okay, now you're gonna have a little bit hanging off, possibly. So you do need a little bit of a petal there. And you're gonna need a little bit of a petal on this side. And I'm just gonna hand draw in the rest of that petal. There should be a little space. Okay, so then you have to put petals in between. Same thing. You just hold it in between. You can see where the petal is drawn. I don't know, can you see the petals? You have to tell me. Um, I don't know what else to do because I really like using a light pencil so that it covers up. So now I'm just going in between and I'm doing that petal in between. I just line it up between the points. And so this is my template. It's, it's an easy template. Um, you just cut your petal. How many are waiting to do a welcome sign? I would love to see pictures. I said I've been holding out giving this out, but I decided I was going to. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna do a corner one. I'm just gonna hold it out to the corner. I wanna make sure that I can get a whole petal on here. Um, it doesn't have to be all the way around because it's sort of cut off here. But, so I'm just holding it and doing my corner again. So I hope you're up here for a little bit with me because I said, I it, this does take a little bit to paint. I'm hoping the colors I use, it, that it's only gonna take one coat. The um, petal itself might take a second coat, but I use colors that I think will work and they're pretty colors. And again, I'm just tracing the petal pattern, the petal pattern. All right. And then we gotta put the petals in between and a petal in between here. And you're not even gonna see that one. Let me just make sure. You're not even gonna really see where that other one is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started painting right away. Um, so I like um, using angle brushes. They're slanted like that because you can get right to where you wanna want to be. Um, so I do like using the angle brushes and I've got several here just because it's gonna help me in between. I can just keep switching like that. All right, so, and when I do this, I'm gonna get some of my stuff out of my way. I rotate, <laughs> literally I do it on this table. So it's a little card table. I have my big board across it and I have a chair on each side. I have the couch on one side and I rotate myself. And if I can't get to the direction I want, I'm moving the board. So <laughs> I, I move a lot when I paint these because it's easier in certain directions, but being a little bored, I can move the board. 
All right, so I'm gonna start painting this um, center and I've got, so I've got, you use whatever colors you like. I've got, um, I'm gonna start painting it with this um, espresso color. I'm just looking. Yeah, because I'm gonna put the darker color over it. Let me, where did they get the board? This board was a Hobby Lobby board. I've had it here a water, while, I'm sorry. Um, I've had it here a while, but I think um, they probably still have them. All right. So, and again, this is Americana, the espresso, any, any colors you want. So this I'm doing for the center. And again, can you see? Okay, so I'm doing the center. I think you can see that. Well, Doyleen, this is going to teach you. So let me hold it up a little bit, and I hope I don't mess up. I, I can't completely hold up because I'm going to mess up. So I'm just, I've got to follow that, follow the line. And that's why I like the point is it's a little easier to follow. And I have to sort of watch the lighting. Okay, now I can hold it up and you can see what I do. Now, sometimes you might want to let some dry in between um, when it comes to this, but I think mostly what I do, it'll be fine. It'll dry enough. All right, so that's the start. I'm going to do this one, and I'm doing both right away just because it'll be easier. The other one will have a little chance to dry. I do have my hair dryer out here, um, but... Um, I think I might be able to get away without it. We'll see. Um, you want to make sure that it's dry when you're adding layers of the same color. Just because if it's wet and you're putting on top, it's just really pushing the paint around and it's not giving you a good second coat. So that's the purpose of drying the same color. Now when I'm adding the contrasting color, I don't necessarily let it dry. It doesn't have to then. All right, so we got that one. Now I'm gonna go back. You make this easy paint by numbers. <laughs> it is sort of like a paint by number, a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna add a little color on top of here. That dark brown covered really nice already. This is antique maroon. Um, it's sort of like a dark plum, which, do I have that here too? No, I don't. But this is a little bit, oh, it's, uh, it's a maroon. It's a little bit redder. Thank you, Donna, for passing it on. Hi, Judy. All right. So we're just going to take a little of that. And I'm just, now I'm just going to take a little bit on the corner of it, not the whole brush. And I didn't rinse the brush out. That brown is still on there. Can't wait to see it finish. Wait till you see the colors I'm using for the petals. I love the colors. I haven't done one like that yet, so I'm excited to do one on here. All right, so I just have it on the corner. I have to leave it laying down. I apologize. So, and I'm just gonna, gonna start in the middle here because it'll be easier for me. And when I wipe it around, and because it's only on half and the brown's on the other half, it's sort of giving a Can you see the difference there? All right, so, and I'm doing the same thing on this one, all right? Hi, Jane, you did catch me live, you caught me painting. All right, so I'm doing again, I'm gonna do the edging. And I just sort of move the brush a little bit more and that'll Spread it out a little. So isn't that cute? So you can see the difference on there, right? All right. So um, so sometimes I'll even blend. Now I've got a little bit of a Napa Red here. We're gonna put a little bit of that on too. I have, I have no rhyme or reason what I do in this middle. I have, seriously, I have no rhyme or reason. I just try and pick things I think that look together 
and I'm just going to add a little bit of that red in there. I'm trying to do it a little bit round so you can see it go through. And these are all colors that are going to match with the petals. Can you guess what color my petals are going to be? All right, and then I'm going to also go around. with that okay um, now I'll finish that part there's a little more I'm gonna do on here um, I'll let that dry we're gonna start the petals okay I'm just thinking if if I should let that dry um, I'm gonna let it dry and we're gonna start the petals all right so that's what we got so far you can see the, can, the difference all right so petals I'm using, as the back of them, I'm using Sweet Mint and Bluegrass Green. Aren't those cute? I think they're going to be really, really cute. And so we're going to go ahead, and again, I'm going to use the angle brushes again. So I'm going to have the light green as the back, as the backdrop. So that's just giving it single coats. Um, I hope I can get away with it with one. All right, I'm just looking at a brush. I'm probably gonna, I think I'm gonna use the same brush. Get my paper towel out. Um, so again, I'm just going to, I'm gonna get some stuff out of my way. I move my board a lot. Um, and I'm just gonna start with one petal. And just, Fill in, and this color actually is going on really nice. I might get away with one coat on doing this with the yeah, else. So I'm just following the petals. And I just, I like doing the outside of it first so that I get that line done. I'm shifting all the time. You're going to get dizzy by the time we're done here. And then I'm also gonna go right up to the edge. And it's okay if you make a little mistake along the edge because it's gonna be filled in a little more when I'm done. All right, and usually what I do, like sometimes depending upon the color or the kind of paint that I'm using, um, I'm using plain acrylic paint right now. Once in a while, if I have a color that I really like in the chalk paint, I'll use that. Um, the yellow one that I do, like for the sunflowers, that takes me three good coats um, because it doesn't didn't cover very well what I have. So this one, actually, I know I'd be able to get away with two coats on this one. All right, so I'm I do the the big big ones first. Okay, I feel like I'm ignoring you all. I know I'm talking, but if I keep talking um, or reading the comments, then I apologize. It will take me forever to get done with this. And we don't all want to be on here all night. I know we all have work tomorrow, right? I'm fine on here. You know I'm a late bird. But not everybody can. All right, so I do, again, just do those lines. If you make a little mistake, if you wipe it off right away, you usually can get away with it. If it's just a little mistake, you might make your petal a little bigger. You're gonna make mistakes as you're doing it. So I think, um, I need more paint, it's pretty. You know, Natalie, I like this kind of paint. The Apple Barrel, um, once in a while, but I mean, I haven't used Apple Barrel in a while. Once in a while. All right, so I'm just, I feel awkward doing this, but I'm trying to do it so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so this one I'm gonna do here too right away. And then I'm gonna fill in the other petals. And just follow along and then it's easy to paint in between here. 
This is sort of an awkward edge here, but if anybody's asking questions on there and I don't necessarily see them, please answer if you know the answer, because I apologize that this is going to take me a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to just fill in the second petals, and I sort of like taking so that I see the definition of them for my own use. I take the brush and I usually I'll go do that V in there so I can see where that definition is. So I'll be able to do the highlighting that I'll show you yet. So again, I just try and do that so that I see that V there when we're gonna highlight on it. And I think the highlight color is gonna be really, really pretty on here. Once you get that outside filled in, you don't have to be so careful in the middle. And sometimes, like this is a pretty big space, I will come down in here because you probably don't have petal or petal probably goes all the way down. But sometimes I miss doing it and it looks just fine. Right. Because we're going to fill some of that in too. All right. Well, I'm glad we're going to have some on here with me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one too. And then we're going to go ahead and start the highlighting because I think I can get away with one coat, which this is an awesome paint that it's letting me do that. So again, I'm just following the petal lines. Make sure that I see where they are. The highlighting takes a little practice, which we're gonna do next. But um, it really isn't too bad. You just take your time and follow the lines. Now, I showed you the petals. So it, it's, it's just a simple petal. And you trace it. The rest of it, you just sort of slap it in. All right, so we're gonna keep going so we can get this and then we'll get that highlighting coat on. I might have to just give a second coat, but if I do, it doesn't take much to do a second coat. So are you liking the color? I think it's gonna be beautiful. What color do you think I would do on here for welcome? A lot of times I like using an offsetting color. You see that the white one that I did, the white with black and gray, and then I did red as the welcome. I'm losing my stuff here, I'm flipping around. So this is really the tip I would give you when you're doing this. Um, is make sure you're always in a position where you can where it's easy for you to try and follow the lines so if you need to move around the board like I said when when I do mine I have a chair on each side of the table and the couch on the other side of the table and I keep sitting from one to one to one and sometimes and that's the bigger boards and then sometimes I also then actually get up and move it or I actually move the board but that's how it's it's just easiest. You always want to make sure it's in a position that you can um, get in a position where you do the lines easy from that tip of the paintbrush. I have to think of what I'm saying here. <laughs> just because I'm getting to this middle part. All right, so again, on these little petals here, I sort of just do that V in there so that I can see that that's where um, I'm gonna be doing the highlighting. Fill that in. This one looks a little off, but it'll be fine. All right, do the next one. We're almost done with this. Like I said, I do. I might have to just give a real quick second coat, but I don't have to let it dry. This part of it, we don't let it dry. All right, so I'm just going to do a real quick 
second layer and see how quick that is. I don't have to be as careful. Just makes that color a little bit brighter. Jenny, good. Glad you're all here to the end. Like I said, the next is the highlight. Once I get the highlighting, then we do a little bit more in the center. Um, I'm not gonna do the welcome tonight. Um, I'm just gonna do show you the highlighting and the finishing of the center of this flower. You know, this reminds me of mint ice cream, doesn't it? That sounds mint chocolate chip. Doesn't that sound good? Sounds like it would be really good right about now. All right. So that second coat just gives that nice, that real nice bright color. And giving the second coat doesn't take nearly as long. Let's just do this in quick. Again, if depending upon now this this color is really going on nice. Sometimes you want to make sure that first coat is completely dry so you're not pushing the paint around. But this is really going on good, so I'm not afraid to over the top of it you can see that it's giving it really good coverage all right she hear the dinging it actually this is only gonna take me I'm guessing till maybe a little after 10 shouldn't be that much what what brand paint are you using I am using the Americana this one is Sweet Mint. Um, I like the Americana. You get it, for sure you get it at Hobby Lobby. I would guess you get it at the other craft stores like Michael's or um, Joann's. I'm guessing they both have it too. You can get Apple Barrel at Walmart. I don't use Apple Barrel as much. Um, I just really like the coverage this gives, but I know a lot of people like Apple Barrel, so I wouldn't be afraid of using it. I just really, I, I have a lot of paint here. And this is the kind I got for a while. All right, so almost done, and then we're gonna start highlighting. And you can see how the pretty on there gets. That's my favorite part is doing the highlighting. All right. That's what you got, okay? So I think I'm going to, I really like the brush I'm using. I think I'm gonna use this one though. Um, so on a bigger board, I use, on the bigger boards, I use a little bit wider angle, but I think I'm gonna be good um using the little bit thinner one and let me show you what i do so i'm gonna get a little i have a, another cup of water here um and then i have my ice cream pail cover you can use um a paper plate um just something like that too okay so i'm gonna start on this one again on this side Knock that off. Okay, so the color I'm using for highlighting is bluegrass green. And I think that looks really cute with this, right? All right, Rita. Hi, Debbie from Wisconsin. You're like a neighbor. You're close. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that green. It actually is not going to take much of it. Okay, I love that color. And I want a wet brush. And I'm going to get a piece of paper toweling here. 
Okay, so this is how I do my highlighting. Now I know you can buy medium, like in jars, um, that helps spread, um, I don't even remember what it's called, but it a floating medium, it's called, I think. Um, and you can put it on your brush and that keeps your brush sort of moist that you can do this. But I just really, I dip it in the water. I just touch it a little bit on the paper towel. I don't want it completely dry. Just touch a little bit. And then I take, I put about half the brush in it, okay? And then I take my lid and I go back and forth and it sort of blends that in there. And then all I do is just run it across, adds the color in. And as it gets drier, can you see what I'm doing here? As it gets drier, I'm not even afraid to even move it around more on it because that just spreads it in a little. So, um, and sometimes I'll just wipe on that same point and just add in. So that's how I'm getting my highlights. Hi, Alice. So, all right, so now we're gonna do the next one. Now this one, actually, that's a little bit wet, so it's blending in. You can see on my paint palette, <laughs> my fancy paint palette, I'm gonna get a little more water. Um, it actually is coming in a little bit with that light green on the bottom of this. So, all right, so I'm just trying to get a direction that I can do this. Because again, it's a lot about the direction that you're gonna go that of the position you want this. So you just bring it around. And sometimes I just play with it a little bit. It's how you do your highlighting, okay? So it doesn't take much, does it? Um, I'm not gonna wet the brush this time again. I'm just gonna try it again without wetting it. Wipe it, and now we're gonna do the opposite side. And if it's a little drier, you get a little bit different effect to it, but you can always wet your brush and just wipe it on there a little more if you need to spread it more. Right. And so that's what I, that's how you highlight. You just keep dabbing and you just put it on part of the brush, keep wiping. I'm gonna do the middle petal. Can you see when it's laying down here? All right, so I'm gonna bring it around here. I'm also going to do this middle. I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see it. Okay, isn't that pretty? Shelly, just practice a little. I think you can do it. Right? Um, so just practice on, on cardboard or something like that. Um, now this one again, let me just show you. This one, because of that weird edge, I don't know how that's gonna look there, and I'm gonna do this one right away. Dab a little more. more. I think I don't even know if I I don't think I can put any on that edge. See how pretty that is? Okay there's still more highlighting to do that we got to do on here so I'm, I'm gonna do these now quick. So this doesn't take that long right? Let's just dab it. Wipe a lot of that off. And do this one first. Sometimes if the brush is too wet, um, it spreads it a little farther, but you can just play with it a little bit and it'll go back in. It'll, it'll work, it just takes a little playing with it. See how quick that goes too? I said on the big flower it takes a little more and sometimes it takes extra coats. Um, 
and the highlighting. You sometimes even go over another time or with another color. And if it's a little too dark than what you want, just add a little bit of water on the brush and that'll spread that out a little more, but I think that was okay. Let's just put a little on the tip one. <laughs> I like these little boards. I can just flip them around whatever way I want. Um, I said then the next step then we're gonna do some highlighting and then we're gonna add some more detail to it which all, e all pretty easy detail okay so I know I just added a little water because I thought it was a little bit dry it actually gives a little bit spreads it out a little more so if you put it on it's too dry just wet your brush and it'll spread it out so now i'm just gonna add this one I said this really isn't taking long when it when you start doing the highlighting um, you just make sure you get your brush a little bit wet and dip that corner in and go back and forth and you want that that tip along the edge well, that one's pretty dark. I'm going to play with that one a little bit. And come over here. I might add a little darkness to a couple of these just because that one was so dark. I just added that little bit of darkness on the others. I feel like I'm constantly flipping you around. You're going to get dizzy all the times I'm flipping you up and down. More, <laughs> are you talking? Yeah, we all go to that same school that gets paint on our sleeves. All right, so like I said, I'm almost done with this part of it. It's just easier for me to do it from different directions. You want that point up. All right. Last one. All right, now if you think you don't have enough, just take that brush that you just have. Just, it's like you're wiping the paint off. And that's just gonna add a little more. All right, so um, let me just see what brushes I have here. So um, another thing that I'm gonna do, and I actually, now I'm just gonna add a couple of the little lines. For, I don't know what you call them in the petals where the creases are. You're right, Kathy, with practice, you're gonna be doing this for Christmas. So I'm gonna use that same color. I think I'm done with my highlighting for right now. We're gonna get that out of the way. I'm knocking everything else off. Looking at what brushes I have. Okay, can you put your color names in comments when you're done? I can, Susan, I, I will do that. Um, let me tell you again, well, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm using. So, and this, these are, I think I have almost all Americana here. And I'm actually adding a few more colors on here besides. So I'm gonna take that dark green again, just with my big brush and I'm filling the whole brush. Okay, I'm just putting it all on. And I'm just putting a couple lines. Adding the detail on it. You're welcome, Susan. All right, and I'm gonna do that on each one of these. Now that one doesn't have much place for it, but yeah, just just doing the lines. It's no particular way. All right, so that's pretty right. Um, 
they're called lifelines. There, see, okay, some of them are fat laugh, laugh, um, lifelines. Thanks, Carol. All right, so um, next what I'm gonna do is, let me just see the next is, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more Actually, I am going to use this antique maroon. No, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm thinking to myself, which one I want to use. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use the antique maroon. I'm going to make the little, I'm going to make little lines for more, a lot of lifelines. So I'm just going to use some of the antique maroon. I love this color. I think it's so pretty. Um, and I just really like this brush. I think I keep going back to that same brush. Actually, I'll use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I um, did with the big lines, only I'm gonna try and do real little, so I'm gonna do it very lightly. Um, so I'm gonna get enough paint on there and I'm just going to do real, so I hold my brush up like this, and I just do, I just really lightly try and get real thin lines. It's okay if some get bigger, some, you know, you want some taller than each other. They don't all have to be the same, but by putting your hand on here, um, that sort of is, is giving you a brace so if you just keep doing the same thing and just lightly touch that brush down that's how you get those lines all right so again I'm just going to and I'm just trying to get a position so I'm moving my stuff around so I'm not knocking it um, so that I can put my arm down <laughs> and so you can still see and yeah, I'm just wiping the brush down. If you can do it better with a thin brush, go ahead and do that. But just play with it on paper or cardboard first, on a scrap if you're unsure. And then I put a couple little taller ones or a little thicker ones. They wouldn't all look the same, right? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, somebody, I, I miss that comment. Somebody was talking about how my lives are soothing and calm. I don't always feel that, but I'm glad you like them. All right, so I'm doing the same thing that I did on this one. And that's why I said, if you don't bring that petal all the way down, it mostly gets covered anyhow. And just keep, I love this maroon color though on here. Okay. Trying to find the best way to do here, being off. See, and I'm used to having my arm on a board. So you get used to doing something. It feels different when you can't be like on the board or something, you're doing this. Okay, so there's that part of it. Um, okay, we got that done. I'm just looking. Now I'm going to take, um, let's see, I'm, now this is an unusual color, but I think it's going to look so pretty on it. Look at it. It's a salmon. It's bright salmon. It's Americana. I'm going to add some of that for the, in the middle here. I do love these colors. So what I'm actually going to do swap out <laughs> I I am I'm a messy painter trust me I'm a messy painter so I'm just going to try and wipe off some of my green 
And now on my big boards, I use these little foam brushes on my little board. I'm gonna try using this one. I hope it works okay. Um, I had it in my drawer for a long time. Do you sell your products? I do, Shelly. Um, I, sometimes I sell them out on my Etsy shop. Sometimes I sell them locally. This one may end up in my Etsy shop. Um, so I, I work also, so I don't have time. I would love to do this full time, but I can't. Um, so I don't always get a lot out there. Um, but I, yeah, I love doing this. Okay, so all I'm doing is dabbing, dabbing it in there. Start in here again. And I don't want a lot on there. I don't want it real lot, but, and I'm just gonna lightly, lightly dab. And then let it get a little darker in this middle. So I'm just doing it over the top in that middle. All right, so that's pretty easy too, right? My shop is, it's my Etsy shop. So if you go out on Etsy and search for Crafty Servings, or actually go up to the top of my Facebook page. So I'm, again, I'm just going to start lightly around the outside here and then get darker into this middle. Okay. And... Sometimes you do a little too much and I'm just thinking, I'm, I think I'm probably almost done. I'm gonna do, there's one other thing. I'm gonna take a little bit of this flesh tone, same Americana also. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the flesh tone. I'm doing a little bit more highlighting and this I want Oh, maybe I'll just use a little brush. I'll use another angle brush, it'll work. That brush is too thick for me. <laughs> I just want a couple little lines. So I'm just going to get, I'm gonna get a little thinner brush. And I'm just gonna add a couple little lines. I don't want much, but just to add a little bit more add the little bit of lines and then I've got one more thing to do and I think I'm gonna um, I am gonna do one more I'm gonna take this one because I want a little bit more covering in between here actually going to use this Thank you, Rita. So, like I said, now I'm getting to a point where I'm just winging it a little bit just to finish it the way um, the way I want it to look. So I'm just gonna do one more thing on here and then I'm gonna add some, just little, some little dots that I always usually add on and um, then we're gonna be done. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this maroon and load that same one that I had that salmon on just gonna put a little on there, and I think I'm I'm just going to dab a little bit in here, so that it's not quite as solid of a line. And that'll dry up, so it's just not as solid. It's not because flowers don't have a solid line there, right? So we're just gonna. Add that on both of these, and then I'm going to add a few dots, and I'm going to add one more color to this for those dots. I mean, I don't know why I have to do that, but I do. Okay, is that pretty? Okay, that's looking pretty. I love the colors. That's the first time I used them, and I was excited to use them. All right, so now let me just show you. Um, now I'm gonna use a little bit of this green again. Oh, I've already got that on here, but I'm going to um, use a little of that salmon for the dots, and I'm gonna add a Royal Navy 
just a couple just just to add something to talk about you you won't even really see it um i like using these stylus you can use the pack back of a paintbrush or whatever um i like using these stylus and you just let me just show you you just dab in the dab in the paint and then you touch it and and it just adds a couple little dots I'm dropping my stuff all over it just adds a little bit more to it can you see the dots that it's adding let's do some on here all right almost done and then we're going to do the random act of kindness so, okay so we just added a little bit of blue and i'm going to add a little bit of that salmon also and just just a few dots and it just adds a little bit thanks donna and and then i will end up sealing this um I don't know that this would be an outside one. I may not even put any words on here. I don't know. I like it. Um, but I'll end up sealing it just so that the paint doesn't scratch off. So I'll just use a spray acrylic sealer on it. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's see what, get my mess out of the way. And I'll see if I can hold it up good for you all to see. Okay, there you go. Can you see it? You know, see close up? See close up? Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. So, thank you. So, that's what I got. Um, I don't know that I'm going to add any word on it. If I do, no, my sign I should have done. I might do something that way. We'll see. Well, I might do something on it yet, though. But thank you, Kate. So, all right, everybody have a very good night. And until I see you again, stay happy, healthy, and safe.